ethnic Kyrgyz living in the Little and Big Pamir area of Afghanistan. Given the ongoing evacuation of UN agencies in a, from Afghanistan, Kyrgyzstan is proposing temporarily relocating them to Bishkek. In this regard, we urge the UN Secretary General to consider our proposal. Furthermore, given the situation in Afghanistan, the question of the security of Central Asia is once again at the forefront. We hope that social, political stability and law and order will be quickly re-established in Afghanistan. Kyrgyzstan is carrying out multi-pronged work to combat terrorism and extremism. Kyrgyzstan, in good faith, is implementing the provisions of the UN Global Counter-Terrorism Strategy, the UN Security Council resolutions, the recommendations of the CTED Executive Directorate of, of the UN Security Council. Thus, Kyrgyzstan is already using passenger locator forms and data on passenger manifests in order to monitor international movements of terrorists. We are banking on the UN support and that of interested states to help repatriate our citizens from Syria, including women and children. Moreover, we call for international efforts to be stepped up, not only to combat terrorism and extremism, but also to combat transnational organised crime. This involves illicit activities such as drugs and arms trafficking, human trafficking, laundering, uh, criminal income and cybercrime. Kyrgyzstan, within the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, is working on setting up a centre to combat international organised crime in Bishkek. We believe that in order to combat modern threats and challenges to international security and to prevent conflict, a significant role should be played by regional structures. Kyrgyzstan, either as a member or a, as a participant uh, within the, uh, it participates in the Commonwealth of Independent States, the Collective Security Treaty Organization, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and the meeting on a trust building measures in Asia, and also the Organization for Security Cooperation in Europe. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a serious challenge to humanity was posed by the coronavirus pandemic. It has caused numerous victims. It has put national, national healthcare systems under unprecedented pressure and has caused a collapse of the global economy. We hope that thanks to work underway on medications and treatments, we will soon fully overcome this terrible virus. It's important for the know-how uh, against viruses to be accessible to all very soon. As regards the situation in our country, I'd like to point out that our authorities have undertaken necessary measures to protect the lives and health of the population, and in particular that of healthcare workers. Our vaccination campaign is well underway. There are vaccine awareness raising campaigns. The country has various different vaccines from different global producers. I'd like to take this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to the leadership of China, Russia, Kazakhstan and Sweden, who provided us with vaccines as a form of humanitarian assistance, either bilaterally or as part of the COVAX program under the WHO. The coronavirus pandemic was also a reason for the fact that achieving the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals in Kyrgyzstan, is not going to be possible on time and fully. We have had to re-channel finances earmarked for the SDGs to combat the pandemic and to service external debt. In this regard, we would urge our bilateral and multilateral creditors to support the initiatives on debt relief, um, 
APEC to very important sustainable development projects in Afghan in Kyrgyzstan rather. These projects, first and foremost, are to preserve the integrity of our unique mountain ecosystem and its biological diversity and ice caps which are swiftly being destroyed as a result of climate change. It is very unfortunate that in Kyrgyzstan there are some ill-intentioned investors who are chasing after significant profit and abuse uh, the people's trust and so they do not take due care that their activities do not harm the environment. In line with our national legislation, the Kyrgyz authorities have been curbing, curbing these kind of activities, but we need to develop uh, deal with the ecological uh, consequences thereof nonetheless by uh, dealing with harmful uh, refuge etc. Over the past three decades Kyrgyzstan has been an active advocate of the interests of mountain states that are landlocked in order to tackle the challenges of sustainable development and the impact of climate change. Mm -hmm. On our initiative 2002 was declared the International Year of Mountains and in that year in Bishkek there was the first Global Mountain Summit. In 2018 there was the fourth World Mountain Summit. During this session of the UN General Assembly there is the group of friends of mountain countries and we are hoping that 2022 will be declared the International Year of Mountains. This would confirm the five-year plan for sustainable development in mountain regions up to 2022 uh, and then to create a Global Summit Bishkek 25. Distinguished Secretary General, over the past few years the and people and nature in our country have significantly felt the negative impact of climate change. The position and views of our country has been will be put forward clearly at the forthcoming uh, COP26 on climate change in Glasgow. I'd like to take the opportunity of this important Rossman to make a few remarks nonetheless. For mountainous Kyrgyzstan, one of the priority thorny areas is um, climate change adaptation. We pay particular attention to protecting the areas of our mountain forests along with uh, playing a natural function of absorbing carbon. They also play a very important role in uh, preserving water resources. In this regard, we are in favour of developing and adopting under the aegis of the UN a special targeted programme on mountainous forests to protect them, uh, replant them, and to help them. As I've previously mentioned, uh, ice caps and rivers are under threat in Kyrgyzstan, and th this year, UNES in UNESCO, we are initiating a resolution to protect mountain ice caps and at the same time we're continuing to work with international partners to implement the res um, provisions of the resolution Nature Knows No Borders. This was put forward by Kyrgyzstan and was recently approved by the UN General Assembly. Some significant achievements have already been made. For example, thanks to the work with different countries, international organisations have managed to protect certain animals such as the snow fox. Furthermore, by 2050, Kyrgyzstan will try to achieve carbon neutrality. neutrality. Kyrgyzstan's economy is becoming greener. We are going to turn to a carbon-free sources of energy and I am thinking first and foremost about hydroelectricity here. In order to ensure energy security, Kyrgyzstan intends gradually to implement a number of projects to build hydroelectric stations that are 
ecologically clean sources of energy, access to modern, uh, environmentally friendly, green and inexpensive energy resources in developing countries is extremely important in terms of achieving the global aims in the area of development and in achieving the 2030 agenda. We believe that achieving uh, hydroelectric station building in Kyrgyzstan, ensuring that we do this, will meet Central Asian countries' need for hydroelectricity and thus will create good conditions for sustainable development of our region. I would invite investors to work closely with, uh, with the hydroelectric sector, including on based on a public-private partnership principle in the spirit of the Paris Agreement. In concluding this particular topic, Kyrgyzstan trusts that the support and assistance of the international community, the UN and international financial institutions will be paid to solving the problems of the ecosystems and ecologies of mountainous countries that are landlocked. In this regard, we trust that the issue of setting up within the UN a special global fund to support global, uh, to support mountainous countries rather, and achieving uh, the sustainable development goals and adapting and preventing climate change.